Welcome back to SciRusher TV. Today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the computer on the XF650. To enter the advanced settings, hold down the up and down arrow key for about 3 seconds. Then, the position menu will appear. Position 1 is going to be our brightness setting. That ranges from 1 being the lightest and 3 being the brightest. You can use the up and down arrows to scroll between values. To go to the next position, we're going to press the middle button, and that is going to take us to our speed unit setting. This is going to be how we change it from kilometers per hour to miles per hour or back to kilometers per hour, depending on where you are and what you would like the bike to be displayed in. Position number three is going to be our battery voltage. Since the XF650 comes with a 48 volt battery, we're going to leave this on 48. Position four is going to be the auto shutdown. If the bike is not doing anything for a while, this will allow the bike to shut itself down to save some battery power. You can adjust this between one minute to 60 minutes. We'll leave this on four or five. That seems like a pretty good sweet spot for us. Going to the next position, this is gonna be our pedal assist preference setting. So if you have it on zero, it's gonna show you pedal assist levels ranging from one to three. If you have it on one, it's gonna show you pedal assist levels from one to five. And if you have it on two, it's gonna show you pedal assist levels from one to nine. This is more or less a personal preference. We'll go ahead and leave it on five levels for now. Position six is gonna be our wheel rim diameter setting. We have 26 inch wheels on this bike, so we're just gonna leave it on 26 for now. Position seven is the speed monitor setting. This can range from one to 100. This is a technical setting and shouldn't be modified by the user, so we'll go ahead and leave that where it is. Position eight is gonna be our speed limit setting. This can be between one to 100 kilometers per hour. If we have it set up to 100 kilometers per hour, that means there is no speed limit. However, the speed limit is gonna be set by the controller and the motor. And you should be able to get about that 28 miles per hour on the XF650. Position nine is zero boost or non-zero boost setting. If zero boost is on, you will get power immediately from the pedal assist and the throttle. And if you have non-zero boost, that means you will have to get the bike up to a certain level before the pedal assist or the throttle will kick in. Position 10 is our driving mode settings. You can have it on zero for pedal assist only and the throttle will not be working. You can have it on one, which is throttle only and the pedal assist is not working. Or you can have it on two with both throttle and pedal assist are working. Position 11 is the pedal assist sensitivity setting. This ranges from one to 24, but this is an engineer setting and shouldn't be modified by the end user. Position 12 is the pedal assist strength setting. Usually ranges from one to five. Again, this is an engineer setting and shouldn't be modified by the end user. 13 is the pedal assist magnet sensor setting. This is gonna become tuned for your bike. So again, not something you necessarily want to modify. Position 14 is gonna be our controller max current limit setting. Position 15 is gonna be our controller low voltage setting. Position 16 is gonna be used to reset our odometer. So in this setting mode, you can press the up arrow for five seconds and then you can clear the settings bringing the odometer back down to zero. 17 position is not used. Position 18 is the bike computer reset. Again if you're in this mode you'll press and hold the up arrow for five seconds and this will reset the bike computer to the bike defaults. This is handy in case you had accidentally gone through and changed one of the positions and you're not quite sure which one it was. You can bring the bike down to a factory reset and start from a good spot. At this point we can either press and hold the up and down arrow keys to exit the advanced menu settings or we can leave it alone and it will automatically go back to the main screen. If you guys have any additional questions about your computer on the XF650, please let us know down in the comments or chat with one of our customer representatives over at SciRusher.com. 